What's up, Rail fans? My name is Destroyer, and welcome to Train Sim World 4. Here on the PS5, I just literally recently bought a PS5 console. I uh, bought it online, got it delivered within like half an hour. So, don't you love living in the year 2024? where things are just so quick and convenient. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is uh, start from the start because I haven't even played a, a game uh, on a console for a good four or five years. I've been, you know, primarily I am a PC gamer, so this is a little bit foreign to me. Of course, I have gamed on consoles over the years, but uh, it's been a little while. I'm so used to mouse and keyboard, so uh, getting used to a controller it might take a little bit of time. It shouldn't take too long, but anyway, I thought I would start off from here because I do believe, because I've only just literally got the console, I've just set it up, done the updates, bought this game which is currently on sale which is great, it cost me like 18 bucks which is pretty freaking good. Now I have played Train Sim World 4 before uh, but I played it on PC Game Pass, obviously on the PC, that would make sense. But um, yeah, like I said, I haven't even played a game using a controller for a very long time but I, as I was saying, I started it from here because I'm probably going to have to uh, sign into Dovetail Live and all that sort of good stuff so uh, I'm going to cut the video guys and I'll see you in a sec. Railways are a dangerous place and you should never attempt to replicate or copy the activities you see in-game on the real railways. No crap. But you know, one thing that I noticed that TSW4 has is uh, free roam mode. And of course, you can cause absolute chaos doing that. So let's press any button. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. So I don't have to sign into Dovetail Live? Hmm? Interesting. Right, so this is obviously from the start, guys. Let's pick our driver. That dude will do. Profile name, well, uh, Destroyer, yeah, how do I do capitals, L2, there we go, it's been a while guys, seriously, <laughs> oh man, I'll stylize it the way I have for my YouTube channel, there we go, R2 for done, confirm, right, uh, welcome Destroyer, how would you like to start? Well, like I said, I have played this, but it was on the PC, so let's go beginner. And we'll get started with some training, so... Just until I get used to the uh, the controls and stuff, then I'll, uh, I'll bump it up to advanced or intermediate, whatever it said. Because I am no stranger to train simulations, but uh, at this one on Welcome the console... Welcome to Train Sim World. Well, sorry, love. An immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring mm -hmm. authentic routes and trains from around the world. That's correct. Can I move? Not this yet. is the training center. Here you can learn about how to navigate and interact with the world as well as how to operate the many trains. Okie dokie. Let's start by looking around. Find each of the markers there and we look go. at them. Okay. Oh, the markers. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Look up, down, left and right. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, do not invert it. Thank you. Your current objective hey, is move. shown at the top left of the screen. Walk to the blue marker to complete the current objective. All right, I will in a sec. Oh, invisible wall for the win. Um, yeah, I just have to get used to, uh, what do you call it? Using the controller again. So bear with, guys. Moving around the world, yep. Okay. You've been awarded some action points. Yay! These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience level for the game. Okay. This is one of the many types of route tasks to be discovered. Keep an eye out for many more types and styles of route tasks, which can involve placing, collecting, or fixing a variety of things. Okay, let me move. Thank you. Head into the main building, and you'll continue your induction there. Okay. Hey. Hey, buddy, I'm a train driver. What are you doing? Are you playing Train Sim World 4? Do some work, mate. Come on. <laughs> Uh, press the triangle button to get in or out of a seat. So I have to sit down. Actually, I think I vaguely remember doing this on the PC. You can pause Train Sim World at any point to review objectives and a lot of other information about what's happening at the moment. Mm-hmm. Try it now. Like that? And then return to the game after you've had a look around. Okay, let me get out of the seat. Because I think from memory, one of these offices... Now that we've covered some of the basics of moving around and interacting with the environment, let's take a walk through the building and find the trains. Because I think there's a couple of Easter eggs I remember finding. Oh, look at our classroom. This is how to drive a train. Mate, you haven't even got pens or notepads or anything? You're supposed to be taking down notes, dude. 
Yeah, I can't remember exactly where it is, but there's uh, Matt Peddleston's uh, famous pink razor headset. I can't find it, though. I know this really isn't important, but... Oh, there it is. The bunny ears, the pink one. The razor, <laughs> the razor headset. Uh, I've actually got that exact pair, except it's black. So, not the exact same pair, but, uh, but yeah. Anyway, we'll continue on with the uh, actual tutorial. Okay. Look out the window. Nope. This yep. is Central Square. From here, you can explore the main training center depot and surrounding yards. Excuse me, what's a depot? Do you mean depot? Anyway. Uh, right, go downstairs. Head out to the rail yard. Your journey operating trains is just getting started here in the training center. Remember, you can always come back here from the main menu to refresh your knowledge if you're unsure about anything. Thank you. Continue to learn and other training modules here in the training center, and then you'll be ready to take on more challenges in other environments. Okay, there's a trophy. It's my first day. Okay. Uh, let's just continue on, I guess. Because the one thing I want to get used to is, um, like learning the train controls using a controller. Screen elements, what is this? This module will cover the on-screen overlay, known as the heads-up display, or HUD, that okay. is shown when you are in control of a train. Uh-huh. Climb up the ladder into the train and then sit in the indicated seat. Can I run? Was it auto run? I know on the PC you can uh, change the different... Like a bunch of different settings, like auto run or whatever. What was that? Step up. I like the haptic feedback. Uh, press triangle. Yep. Okay, sit down. Welcome okay. to the most important seat in the train. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. Before you think about moving the train, though, let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. The heads up display is a guide to what your train is doing. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. Mm -hmm. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. I love it how they've locked it out so you can't skip it. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. These are the brake indicators. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Anything else? And brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Okay, good to know. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works, but they will mostly look the same. As you learn to control new trains, study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. Okay, good to know. One thing I did realize that I actually quite like about TSW4 is um the minimal hut i think it's called where you just have the like the two overlays overlays on the top of the screen okay so that was just a separate thing performance breakdown you did really well you listened at an excellent listening rate i don't know anyway let's let's carry on with the uh the uh, tutorials it should just be one big tutorial instead of um having individual modules like this anyway moving a train this is what I'm actually interested in. In this training module, you're going to look at making the train move and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. Mm-hmm. 
The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. Pretty obvious, yeah. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. Once again, obvious, yep. In this train, the throttle and brakes are controlled by a combined power and brake handle. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. Okay, so there are like shortcuts which I like. Okay. Pull the power brake handle towards you to release the brakes and apply power. Right, okay. Like I know I can plug in um, or connect via Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse for the PlayStation 5, but I'm not really 100% sure on which ones are actually compatible because I know you can't just plug any in. I do have a bunch of spare uh, keyboard and mouse sets, so maybe I could just experiment a little bit, but uh, I don't want to go out and buy new stuff, especially if it's not going to work. It's just a waste of money, but... Um, okay, so we slow down like that, go back to a coasting position. Whoa, that's bouncy. <laughs> Hey, well, it looks quite nice on the PS5, though, I will admit. Probably not as good as PC, as, as you know, you could imagine, but, um... But, yeah, I thought I'd pick up this game anyway, because I did enjoy playing it on PC Game Pass. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. Yep. I like it with every single bump. Oh, what's that? Turn on safety systems. Oh, yeah. AWS, TPWS. Okay. I will do that, but I'm not going to do that during a, a training module. Uh, is there like an indicator? While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, the basic process of stopping is fundamentally the same. Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. Okay. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. Yeah, I like the feeling of the haptic feedback every time like the train goes over a bump or something. Well, it's not really a bump. I get it. The train's on on uh, tracks, but uh, you know what I mean. Stop. Allow the locomotive to come to a complete stop. Okay. So B3, and then I'm assuming that would be, it would be an emergency brake after that. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them, particularly stopping them in the right place. Mm-hmm. Is that, that a separate module? module? Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module. No, that's basically all I really wanted to know, to be honest. Yeah, I am connected to Dubtail Live. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. This is like automatically connects me these days. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. Okay, passenger operations. Okay. I keep pressing as well because I've been playing a lot of uh, Nintendo Switch lately. And because of the A button, the position of the A button, um, I keep pressing the, uh, the circle button on, on this controller. So... In this training module, I gotta remember you'll that it's be learning X. basic passenger operations in a BR class 323 electrical multiple unit. Okay. Hey. When you are ready, climb aboard the train. Take a seat in the driver's position. To unlock the control desk, insert the master key. Okay, what's the shortcut for that? Don't know. I'll just do it for uh, like this for now. Great work. Okay. To allow passengers to board, you will need to open the doors. Keep. What about camera views? I suppose I could uh, experiment. Let's put AWS in that on you. Yeah? <laughs> now that the passengers have boarded the train, close the doors. Okay. Set. Apply power to get moving. Mm -hmm. 
This train has a combined oh, that's how you zoom. Handle. Okay. Apply a small amount of brake to gently bring the train to a stop at the next station. Oh. I thought you... I'm like, I just got going. So Metro South, 690 meters away. Okay, full throttle on this particular train is full. Okay, we can get up to... What's that, 120-ish kilometers an hour? But we do have to stop in 650 meters, so I think we'll coast it. Yeah, because I had no idea how to zoom in, so there we go. Zoom out, zoom in. Okay. Is AWS... Sometimes that's behind us, like behind me. Speaking of, the game's like, hey, why don't you turn it on for additional points? Okay, I might start braking. Then again, I am 400 meters out. I'm pretty impressed with the lighting and stuff. It's not bad, considering, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing a train simulator on a console. And yes, I get it, the uh, PS5 is a pretty good console, but, um... Yeah, it's just the fact that going... Because I've spent the last, well, four or five years playing exclusively on a PC, so... Going from that to what I call a slight downgrade playing a console... It's just, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just impressed by it, that's all. Because I haven't played a console since about 2019-ish. I better start thinking about braking. Okay, it's got pretty good brakes. Coast it. Slam on three. That should be a decent stop. No, it's too much. Okay, it doesn't matter. Good work. This time, open the doors on the opposite side. Can I please get camera angles? Can you show me how to do that game? I know that's the horn. That's zoom. How do you do the other horn? No idea. Close the doors. Close the doors. Ah. Okay. Reach the next destination unguided. Unguided, you reckon? Let's go full throttle. Off the bat, let's go. 726 meters away. Okay, let's break away from the train a little. There we go. Hey, I can actually see things. The water looks pretty good. Not bad. So how do I get back into a different view? There we go. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. So that's what happens when you start sightseeing and you're driving a train. You're going to overshoot. This train seems to have pretty good brakes, actually. Right, left doors. Right, once I get out of, like, all of these tutorials, I will be, uh, disabling the majority of the, uh, like, the helpful things, you know, like your, um... Objective marker and stuff like that. Stop markers. I'll be getting rid of all of them. Because I do not like them. Just takes it away. Takes away from the uh, the experience a little for me, personally. Okay. There we go. Loading the passages. Actually, let's hear the doors kind of semi-up close. Okay. Great job. That concludes training on passenger operations. Cool. Yeah, another, tro uh, another trophy. Graduate. All right.
Ah, uh, changing ends. There I go, hitting circle again. Gotta remember. XXX. <laughs> right, I might do a couple more and then I'll wrap up this video, guys. But let me know in the comments, do you want to see more? Um, I'm kind of hoping you do. I'll be playing it anyway, no matter what. But uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see some more in videos on Train Sim World 4. You will be learning how to change driving ends of a train. Excelente. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through how to set up a cab for driving, shut down a cab, and how to change which train cab is the lead. Mm hmm Firstly, we need to set up this cab for driving. Let me zoom set in. Set the master okay. key to on to unlock the control desk. Put in the forward, I know Apply that much. power <laughs> to get moving. Have we got a blind? We do. Get rid of a little bit of that glare. Okay, that didn't do a thing. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's boogie. Dreading long lines? Skip the queue with express cards. Tail express. All right, 530 meters away from, as indicated. That's a great name for a stop. Of course, that was a joke. All right, we're going via anyway, so let's... So, oh, actually, no, no, I don't want to speed up too much. I don't want to break the speeding limit. Let's uh, let's get up to speed, though. I wonder if this particular train has got, um, like, a speed set. Like a cruise control. Let's have a look. Pass, comms, safety systems, isolated. Hazard warning, door, interlock. I don't know, I'll probably... I'll have a good look around off camera. This must be set in, like, Germany or something, because it's uh, kilometers per hour and meterage, not miles. When ready, apply a small amount of braking... There we go. We're going to be stopping here anyway, which is fine. And then, assuming, going off the name of the module, we're going down the other end, so we're shutting down this cab and then making our way to the other end of the train and setting that up. Bit of brake. I know these brakes are pretty good, but, uh, but there's plenty of platforms, so... Okay. Set the brake throttle handle to neutral. Uh, that's emergency. <laughs> uh, okay, we have to physically do that then. Uh, to neutral. No. Oh, there we go. Okay, master key. Remove the master key. Master key. Well done. You have successfully shut down this cab. I did. Now travel to the cab at the other end of the train. Okay. Sit in the driver's seat. No, that's a window. I want to open a door. There we go. Oh, I'm just so used to mouse and keyboard, guys. <laughs> I feel like a pleb playing on a console. So it looks like I might be on auto run, which is fine. Okay, take a seat. Shut the now door. activate the new cab for driving, Open following a the same steps as before. Yep, so master key. Direction. Apply power, and let's boogie. The traction well motors sound pretty cool. You now know how to change ends in a train. That concludes this training module. Alright, let's go. Alpha lever. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, changing path. Alright. Let's keep it going. There I go again, pressing the freaking circle button. Stop doing it. I just have to play more on a console to get used to it again, but...
Okay, so changing path. This module will go over the fundamentals of operating junctions to change the path your train will take and how to navigate using the map. Okay. Most rail lines around the world are controlled remotely by a signaling center or dispatcher. From the perspective of the train, the direction taken is automatic. But within yards and depots, many small and frequent movements are required. This makes remote control of the track impractical. In these locations, the direction taken is manually controlled. You can set junctions by either walking up to them and interacting with them, or going to the 2D map and changing them from there. Okay, so this is one reason why Let's I'm not a massive this fan. Let's hand first. Walk over to it and change it by operating the lever. Notice how the point blades move on the track. Try moving it a few times so that you can see how it works. As I was saying, this is one reason why I'm not a massive fan of freight operations, just because I don't, I'm not interested in changing paths and stuff like that. I'm more of a sort of a passenger service sort of fan, you know, so. But anyway, I am going to do it, of course, because it is part of the uh, tutorial. Right. Select and drag the lever to move it. Okay. Now move it back again. <laughs> okay. Right. One more time. And move it back one more time. No, Let's leave head it. over to the train, and then we can look at the map. Okay. Open the map and change the indicated junctions. Okay. All right, so zoom in, zoom out. Yep. Am I switching this one? Okay, I get... Ah, oh, okay. Yep. Follow on-screen prompts. Your junctions are set correctly. Let's get the train moving and see it all working. If you can't remember how to make the train start and stop, there is a training module you can rerun to remind yourself. Okay. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. Like so? I remember that much. Okay, speed limit of... What is that? 50? Okay, zoom in. Zoom out. I'm just training my own brain right now. Just to <laughs> remember all the controls. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground, and the train will only slow down very gradually. I've already done it. Love, all right? Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. Good idea. I am thinking about grabbing some DLC for this as well. So uh, let me know in the comments, guys. If you're still watching, uh, let me know in the comments what DLC is best for TSW4. I haven't really played much of it. I played a little bit of it, but uh, but yeah, your suggestions will be that concludes appreciated. All the junctions in the training center are manual, so you can go anywhere you wish using the map and by changing junctions manually. If you want to practice, go to Explore on Foot in the training center. You'll find trains dotted around, and you can practice driving them and moving them around the yard. Don't forget, you can always rerun this training module later if you can't remember any of what's been covered. Okay. I can't remember how much there is to actually, like, you know, this tutorial. Diesel train introduction. You know what, guys? I might actually leave the video right there. I've got, you know, I've found out what I wanted to find out, <laughs> which was basically, you know, I uh, had to get into a train, get it going, all that sort of good stuff. So uh, I think I'm ready to do like actual scenarios and stuff like that. But like I asked earlier, guys, let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see more Train Sim World 4 videos. Uh, let me know if there's any reasonable DLC out there. Because uh, I know there's quite a few DLC packs already for this game. But uh, but let me know which ones are actually worth it. Because uh, And like I said, any suggestions would be appreciated. But guys, if you did enjoy that video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified of every single upload. 
and I'll catch you hopefully in the next video of Train Sim World 4. Adios.